Hello beloveds. I hope that this video finds you well and that you're having a lovely day. So we have officially transitioned from winter to spring and the weather here in Ireland has been absolutely beautiful. Autumn aside, this is definitely one of my favourite seasons. The world is literally being reborn. The birds are chirping, the flowers are growing. This is a time where we can literally and symbolically plant seeds plant intentions and nurture them and watch them grow throughout the year. It's been almost two weeks since we welcomed in Astara and since the spring equinox I've had this overwhelming urge to cleanse and renew the energy in my home and in the space that I do my magical and healing work. Moon water is one of my favourite ways to do this because I can literally use it for everything. I can clean my walls, I can water my plants, I can bless my altar if I want to. It's a simple yet a powerful practice. The important thing to remember is that your space is sacred. Your energy is sacred. So I'd love to bring you with me as I reset the energy in my sacred space with a little decluttering, a little decorating, as well as setting up my personal altar. I hope that you enjoy. There really is no set rules when it comes to setting up an altar. An altar is something that is sacred for you. Of course there are guidelines out there and thousands of resources if you're feeling called to walk a very specific path in general. Do what feels right for you. The week that I was going to make my altar, I actually won a fundraiser and was gifted a lot of the items that you can see on there. Which was a very unexpected yet absolutely gorgeous surprise. As time goes by, I hope to collect natural resources from the earth myself and craft tools that can be used in my practice, in my craft. Always make sure that your altar is true to what you would like it to be. And I think, judging by the amount of orbs that I saw while filming this particular piece, the universe and spirit completely agree with that. Let me know if you can see them in the comments below. I 
I just want to say a really big thank you to all the Irish businesses that rallied together to create this beautiful fundraiser to support the people of Ukraine. What you can see here are some of the items that were given to the fundraiser and gifted to the winners which I was fortunate enough to be one of. So this isn't a sponsored post but what I am going to do as a thank you is list all the handles of the businesses that donated these beautiful things to the fundraiser and if you feel called to go check out their offerings. There's some beautiful, absolutely beautiful things there. So once again my loves, I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Be safe, be well, and I'll see you next week. Blessed be.